I've never done this in a video before. And I can't really tell you what I've never done. So uh, watch to the end, trust me, watch to the end. But my first place, right here, barbecue pit. Pulled pork? Pulled pork, yeah. Yeah? yeah. How's the ribs? Ribs are great. Yeah, well, whatever you good. think is good. Appreciate it. You have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. The ribs. Oh, look at that smoke ring. That is at least a three carat. And the tip is the best part. Oh, this is going to be so incredibly juicy. I swear to the food gods, this bee tracks me. This bee is honestly like, I feel like it's the same bee that was at the noodle place, that was yesterday at the burger place, and it followed me here. <laughs> Yeah, just take the food, take the food. You can't eat it all. Do you have to admit though, beef's got good taste. Pulled pork sandwich, that looks incredible. And the pulled beef sandwich. All right, I think the bee is gonna let me eat for a second here. This is some succulent, juicy ribs. Oh. If I ever become an actor and I was told I had to cry on cue, I'm just gonna pack some of these ribs up and just like smell it right before I need to drop a tear. Cause this will bring up your emotions. Oh. oh my God. Oh my God. This thing fall off the bone tender. So much juice in here. And every bite you taste that heavenly smokiness. I'm gonna dip in some of the sauce. Mm. Love at first bite. I just munched on that cartilage. Mm. This thing, you won't want a sliver of meat or a drop of that sauce to go to waste. These are some amazing ribs. Wow. I mean, you saw how juicy that was. And the smoky flavor is just on parallel. And it's a little leaner and tougher on the outside. But all that does is just trap in all that juice and moisture. The sauce, mildly sweet. It just enhances that delicious smoky flavor of the meat. Mm. If I wasn't going to like three barbecue places today, I'll go back right now and get another rack of this. This is the barbecue prize. Look at that. Look how easily that comes off. Beautiful smoke ring covering a nice layer of fat. You barely need to chew this thing. Mm. Next, I'm gonna try the beef sandwich. Look at that. That's a fatty piece. Oh, I need to ready myself for what's coming. Oh, you need to get this sandwich. Trust me, this is something you need in your life. This may be better than the ribs. People of Seattle, come and get the get some ribs. Don't forget the sandwich. Oh my God, this is good. Look at how juicy the sandwich is. It's just a nice combination of lean and fat. The meat is so delicate. You can look at it harshly in a fall apart. And I think it's just salt and pepper. Just got that nice peppery flavor, tons of smoke. Just a second, I add some of this great barbecue sauce to it. Speechless at how good this is. All right, I gotta try the pulled pork sandwich. Some of that barbecue sauce, a little pepper. The barbecue gods have smiled upon them. I think if I had to rank my favorites, ugh, it's so hard. I would say this tied with the ribs, outstanding, outstanding. But everything is good. But this and ribs is like scrubs good, you know? It just makes you happy and you really don't want it to stop. Well, until season nine. Season nine was like the apple piece of scrubs, kind of all over the place. Perfect to have outdoor dining and uh, it's got a nice view. Look at this beautiful lake over there. Well, that's not too pretty, but over there, that's pretty. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. I love there's just like a border of 
bacon between the veg and the non-veg. Well, partial veg. This looks freaking incredible. Brisket, holy. Look at that glorious side of fat and smoke ring. Juice just pulsing through the meat. Baby back ribs covered in sauce. Good Lord have mercy. Come on, it's nice and thick. Big pieces of shrimp, okra. I tried the brisket. It's not gonna be as juicy as a Texas brisket, but the flavor is incredible, especially the outside peppery part. Attach that nice layer of fat. As soon as you take a bite, the fatty layer right above this beautiful smoke ring just completely melts like a fatty snowflake on your tongue. Mm. Oh, and this barbecue sauce, spicy, not overpowering. I feel like with this, you can eat more meat because the acid balances out the fat. This is like eating delicious smoke in the form of a rib. You get that slight sweetness and heat from the sauce, but this is another one of those meats that the more you chew, the more the flavor releases. Wow, they added barbecue to this gumbo. Oh, and there's rice underneath too. Mmm, oh, this thing is meaty. You got sausage, chicken, I think. I think there's some pork in here. Wow. I don't even like okra. I'll eat it any day of the week in here. I rarely compliment vegetables, but I'm so glad I got these greens. It's a perfect component to this meal because if you're just eating this, I mean, this is my second barbecue meal of the day. Even for me, sometimes it just gets too rich, it's too fat, but you take a bite of this, a little barbecue sauce, a bite of greens, and you're ready for the next piece of meat. All right, dino ribs time. Yesterday I came here and they were prepping the short ribs, so um, by the time I get there, it should have been in the smoker for about 10 hours. Even though I had a couple great barbecues already, heart's still pounding. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, I'm ready, I'm excited. What's up, Charlie? I'm packing short ribs. This is like Chinese New Year morning. Hello! Oh my God. You know, that thing's been sweating. I don't think I'll ever be completely ready, but go, oh my gosh. Hallelujah. Look at that. When that thing hits the sunlight, I feel like angels should be singing or crowning it. Yeah, something should be floating from the heavens and crowning a king. Hello, darling. That is a crazy one. Wait, is that mine? Oh, that is just, I don't think I, anything better could happen to me this year. <laughs> This is seriously one of the wildest meals I've had in a long, long time. I'm so excited for you to meet them. Shoshito chilies, cubes of Spam, watermelon salad, coleslaw, potato salad, baked beans, and their famous massive giant biscuit. And of course, you all know the massive dino rib. I need to start with this. Emotions everywhere, taste buds going crazy. This is just too good. It's too good for me. I feel like I'm not even worthy of this. I'm not even worthy of putting this in my mouth. I feel, I feel like this should go to a better human being. And look at that smoke ring. Seriously, ladies, let me ask you. Would you rather have a ring made from dead dinosaurs or would you rather eat a dinosaur? And plus, it also has a ring. There's really only one correct answer to that question. Now the impossible. The crush is like a flavor minefield. Every bite just releases new yumminess and aroma. This thing, juicy, obviously. Tender, of course. Also, so incredibly smoky. You pair that smokiness with a little bit of spicy, sweet smokiness from the chilies. Smoke. That bite should almost have a warning sign for too much smokiness. I gotta tell you, the size, these people know exactly what they're doing. Potato salad. Oh, that is so good. Wow. 
Wait, what is that? I think some horseradish or wasabi in here. That is an amazing potato salad. Coleslaw, super unique, fresh. Cuba Spam. I've never done this before. However many years that bite took away from my life, it's worth it. Every single side. How could every single thing be so good? Massive biscuit. Hmm. You guys gotta come to this place and try. And they switch up their meats a lot, but whatever meat you're having, make sure to get every single side, okay? Mm. I think if I had to rank this, it's too tough. I, I just love all of it. It's too tough. Oh, I have watermelon salad. We got some talented chefs here. Talented. I think it's hot sauce with honey. Ah. Oh my God. Can I please rub my face in you? I'm asking in the most sincere way. That biscuit needs to go in there. Oh, I am doing about as well as I can. Wow, do that when you come here. Biscuit dipped in this spicy honey. I was really so focused on this massive rib, but right now, like the size, it's like all should be nominated for best supporting food item. All of them. Incredible. Magic shell. Chocolate. Yes, yes, yes. Toppings. Uh, no. It's no? just the chocolate spot. Thank you're, you so much. Purist? Thank you so much, buddy. It was amazing. Awesome. It was amazing. Super glad. I, uh, I need a nap after this. Thanks so much, man. That was amazing. That was really, really amazing. Good, dude. I'm so happy, man. I I'm sure a lot of people are going to come and try your stuff, and I'm really excited for them, too, because you guys do great stuff. Thank, Thank you, you guys so much. Thank you. All right, have a great day. You too. Take care. That was a pretty fantastic barbecue meal. I mean, any barbecue itch I still have, completely scratched. Now I'm going to go do that thing I told you guys I've never done on this channel before. I'm really excited to do it. I just need some loving ensemble to, to, to kind of set the mood a little bit. So I think we need some dumplings. One of my favorite local dumpling places. Also, I'm leaving Seattle soon, so I gotta eat this as much as I can. Okay, dumpling place is not open yet. I think it'll be open in about an hour. Gotta get a car wash. There's like a layer of hot oil sitting on the hood of my car, so uh, I feel so bad. I mean, as good as hot oil is, I really don't want to burn a hole through my hood. It's like being stuck in a soapy rainstorm. Okay, I got some dumplings, I got some noodles, I got some bao. I'm in this pretty little park, surrounded by all those I love and hold dear in the world. Excuse me. Mm. So good, this dumpling fish. Mm. Got a dog looking at me because he probably wants one of my dumplings or all of my dumplings. Northern dumplings. My God, this place is amazing. Never tried their noodles before though. That's 100% handmade. Now, the reason why I gather all things I love in the world is because I got a message a while back from a viewer named Min. Now, Min tells me that he's been dating his girlfriend, Kelly, for over three years now, and Kelly is a nurse. So right off the bat, thank you so much, Kelly, for what you do. And according to Min, and I'm sure this is true, Kelly is the nicest, most beautiful girl in the world. So Kelly, in front of all these dumplings and noodles and all this delicious stuff, I think Min has a question for you. And I'm just gonna eat while you respond, okay? Don't mind me. Actually, you should just put me on pause. I'm sure this is not the most appetizing thing you wanna be seeing during this romantic moment. And Min, you gotta, you gotta let us know. You guys let us know how, how this whole thing went, okay? Her reactions, whatever. Write it down in the comments. We're nosy, or at least I'm nosy. I wanna know what happened. Let us know what she said when you asked her to be your forever Bao Bay. If you're not Chinese, you probably won't get that. Well, I'm not gonna let my own romantic little surrounding go to waste, so I'm gonna eat this whilst watching, ah, The Lake House on Netflix. Don't really love coffee, but ever since Chiada taught me how to make an affogato, I can't really stop. Anyway, just a big congratulations to Min and Kelly. Guys, not a lot of positive stuff going on in the world right now. 
with everything happening, but finding someone you truly love, truly care about, and you wanna spend the rest of your lives together, that's definitely something to hold dear and something that should be celebrated. So wish you guys a lifetime of happiness and may your passion for each other continue to burn like hot oil and your love for each other as sweet as bubble tea. Or this, this, this is pretty sweet. Hope Kelly said yes though. I mean, she, if she didn't, this would probably be the most awkward video in the history of YouTube. I'm sure she said yes. Anyway, been a long day. See you guys in the morning.